you believe it? We have curtains. <laughs> to a new video and can you believe it we have curtains <laughs> this took like six months to finally but finally they are here and they are beautiful we went for downstairs these beautiful linen curtains you can see like it is this beautiful i would say a creme or beige grayish kind of material or color and I love that it is, it isn't see-through, so you can't really see from the outside in, but it does like let light in beautifully, but a little bit diffused. It's just perfect. I really love how super long, super long they are as well. And um, it just blends in very nicely with the ceilings, just super happy with this choice. And also in the kitchen, these are the ones that we got in the kitchen. Not sure what this is called in English, but it is from a wood material. And if you can see closely, you can't really see it because of the light, but it's not black. It's like a very dark brown, which I think is just beautiful. It makes it a little bit softer than black. Let me pull it down so you can see better. Yeah, so maybe you can see it right here a little bit better but you can see it is like a very dark ch chocolate like very dark chocolate brown i love that you can adjust these lines right here so you can let in a more light or less light more privacy less privacy so there is like a lot of options with this one and also if you want it all the way open you can do that all the way closed you can do that as well so yeah it's just the perfect option that we chose for the kitchen first we were thinking about the roman blinds for the kitchen as well like the linen ones that we have upstairs but i think this was the better choice also very easy to clean to dust off and it's just it looks very very pretty in my opinion you know with the interior of the kitchen very neat and modern i know this is not like the most modern kind of blinds but i still think it looks very nice and polished and then with more of our accessories we will bring in more of the warmth in the kitchen you know with the wood accents and flowers and greenery and things like that just to soften it up a little bit because that's what i was worried about and why i wanted to first go with the linen blinds because i wanted like a softer kind of you know accent in the kitchen but i think this is perfect this is just way more low maintenance as well let me go upstairs and show you what we have upstairs what i decided to go with in my studio and it's super echoey right now because it's empty my wardrobe is coming soon this is that like the perfect option for this room you can see this tone is a little bit more on the beigey side of things i would say the downstairs linen curtains are a little bit more grayish than this one i like both i do like the texture that this one has a little bit more but they didn't have this one in the curtains for downstairs so that's why we want for those yeah here again you can see it's like a roman blind blind so you can pull it all the way up or you can pull it down as well i didn't need anything to be like pitch black in this room because it's going to be just like a walk-in wardrobe slash office so yeah this is perfect for in this room also we have the same one in the bathroom so super happy with how it all looks and curtains are honestly the accessory to a house like six months without curtains at some point i didn't even see the the cardboard on the <laughs> windows anymore but i'm sure you have i mean <sighs> Just the place that we chose took a long time. Super happy with the end result. Now it's time to clean up because they didn't take any of the cardboard with them. And I also had a lot of empty boxes upstairs. So I'm going to take these all to the recycling bin.
guys i have been complaining so much about the weather in the past that now it's giving me nothing to complain about like the weather has been very consistent for the past i would say a week and a half like actually this is like a caribbean temperatures it's like 30 32 28 it's just beautiful like the netherlands is a whole different country when it's like in the summer you would not recognize the people everyone is happy everyone is smiling everyone is friendly everything is green color <laughs> it's just the best so yeah i think i have to when winter comes i'll keep complaining so that you know we'll get another beautiful summer uh next time around again so yeah super happy the sun makes me does so much good to me like honestly i can't really explain it i think because i'm from the caribbean i've been born with sun so naturally i just need sun so whenever it's like gray for too long i get depressed i get really really depressed so i'm so happy with this um with the weather right now so with all of that being said about the weather this weather is like asking me it's screaming as a bowl. It just is. It's just so hot that I want something a little bit cooling for lunch. I saw this new, this is a new brand at Albert Heijn that I wanted to try. So I'm going to make myself a beautiful as a bowl for lunch. guys how yummy does this look this is like so simple but so delicious when it's like in the winter this is not going in in the winter i need something warm and fuzzy but when it uh, when it's like 30 degrees outside <laughs> this is what we're doing super delicious citrusy and with like peanut butter a little bit of saltiness it's just incredible I just came back from a walk like I love doing these morning walks in the summer now the weather is just perfect to do these morning walks and then I came back my um, bar stools came in you remember in a previous vlog I told you that it will take like three months well I don't know what happened but it took like just one month so I'm super happy about that so as soon as they delivered it I unpacked it and I just wanted to tell you the exact name in case you are in the Netherlands and or you're I think they ship all around Europe and you want to get this exact one it is the um, base stool in the land 65 and the finish is oak heart wax oil natural light I'll also I try to link it in the description but i am so happy with them like it is just what i was looking for you know so that's why i'm so happy that i took my time i searched like all different kinds of bar stools from all 
price categories and I made like a collage of all the things that were on my radar with the price and everything and then I made a decision and the decision is right like these look so nice, so minimal, it's just so my vibe. It goes well with the wood, the other um, wood that we have in the kitchen. It's just perfect, so I'm so, so, so happy with that. And for now, like this part of the kitchen is complete. We still have to look for, like we want like a nice artwork on this blank wall. And we were thinking about something like super colorful, just for that contrast, like that juxtaposition of something super minimal with like a bright color artwork that's what we are looking for but again it needs to speak to us and it needs to be the right one so we, we are not in a rush for that either so do you remember a couple of vlogs ago I I was mentioning or explaining that I'm going to try to use this bin before I buy like a proper tea organizing thing and this does not work i mean it i mean it's okay but it's not like very neatly and it's aesthetically pleasing so i ordered a tea box thing however it arrived broken <laughs> So I sent it back and then they sent it right back to me. I ordered it on Amazon. I have experienced this with Amazon before that if you order something, you return it. Sometimes they will send it back to you. I think it's because it's too much of a hassle for them to get it back and sort it and you know process it and everything. They much rather like let you keep the item and give you your refund instead of like dealing with all of that. So let me show you. This is what I ordered and it's actually from this brand. Let me close this up. Bredemeyer. And I think that's how you pronounce it. But it's apparently this tea company, like they specialize in everything that has to do with teas and also tea accessories. So I thought it would be good, but it arrived broken. So this part is loose. So I got my glue over here and I'm going to try to fix this. I think this is a quick fix and then I can transfer my teas into here. All done. All right, everything is nice and organized. Have my favorite teas right here. Not gonna lie, this is not the smoothest and the most beautiful tea box. So <laughs> I'm happy that I got it for free. Count your blessings, right? But it does the job. It looks cute though. Also, I totally forgot to show you what I'm wearing. It's nothing like super fancy or pretty much all white. <laughs> it's a short and a t-shirt, but I think it's cute because the shorts, these shorts are from Residus. Um, I showed them in a previous video and um, they are a little bit ivory off-white and this t-shirt is from Uniqlo and it is like stark white. So I love the contrast. You can see a little bit of a contrast. It's not like an all white um, outfit, but it's a little bit of a twist. I love doing that lately. The shorts are a little bit big on me. You can see a little bit big on the waist, but around the legs, it's like perfect. And maybe I, I should get it fixed just to fit me a little bit better. I don't know, but I actually, you know, for just inside of the house, running errands, it's perfect. And then just my Havaianas uh, flip-flops because it's like 32 degrees today. So these are the, the only thing that I can wear on my feet right now and be comfortable. Luckily, inside of the house, it's nice and cool, but outside, it's getting hot out there. But I'm going to um, make this salad right now. I saw this um, Greek salad recipe on TikTok. Like TikTok has the best recipes the best like food ideas if you ever you don't know what you want to eat or what you want to cook you're out of ideas check tiktok and get on the food tiktok it will get you straightened up for sure so i saw this greek salad i'm going to try it with my own little twist and then i'll show you the end result and we'll do a taste test
is it right here. Let's see. Mix everything together. Mm. So good. Especially when it's hot outside. A salad like this, oh my gosh, so good. I'll leave the page of the person that I saw this recipe from. I'll leave it either on the screen or in the links below. So today I'm in Utrecht. I came here for a congress for my work. This is the, the city that I studied at, so it feels like a little bit of a school trip. <laughs> I'm going to the congress and then afterwards we can uh, go grab something nice to eat so I'll take you along with me So I'm just going to sit here. I made this pea latte. Just going to sit here, do some editing, and um, that's it for this vlog. Today, the people from IKEA are coming to do my wardrobe. I have a Burn a Boy concert tomorrow. I have like so many fun things coming up. So you'll have to keep watching my vlogs because it's going to be a vibe. So summer is here, and we are doing so many fun things. So yeah, super excited to take you along with me. So thank you so much for watching this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.